Hi guys, it's Jacob from StringBuzz here. StringBuzzWorld.org being a music journalism site. Links are in the description down below. And we have a brand new song review for you today. And it's the latest by Sundara Karma. And that's Happy Family. So I'm going to refer to the original article as I usually do for these videos. So I hope you enjoy. Now I've covered a lot of Sundara Karma's. I think that's how you say their name anyway. Their latest tracks. And they are hitting an average of around 7 out of 10 on the site. As well as the YouTube channel. In case you didn't know, that's well above average. And it clearly shows that the group are emerging with this fantastic new sound which I'm really digging at the moment. Shall we see what I thought of this track in particular though? Well, I thought it was pretty good and I love the huge dynamic change around the two minute mark. In fact, we had two dynamic changes since the track sort of kicked off with a more like ambient style. So that's incredibly impressive in my opinion. It's very ambitious as well. I thought there were parts which worked better than others admittedly. And I did feel that the track dragged towards the end, especially towards that, you know, like final minute or so. But for the most part, I have nothing but respect for the group and their constant ambitiousness for varying their and exploring their own sound, exploring different sounds, just really trying to better themselves as a group so early in their career. That's uh, huge props to them. Production wise, I will raise the same issue that I've raised on all of their tracks thus far. That being that I felt it was just a little too reverb heavy throughout its runtime. The vocals are still clear and there is still some diction there. I can still understand what he's saying, but the reverb did get quite noticeable and noisy towards the midway mark of this track. It's one of those personal preference things which you either take to or put your nose up to. I'm one of those people likes to put their nose up to it. The instrumentation, however, sounded great from start to finish. Every tone and timbre worked well in unison to create this very folky and warming texture, which hence filled the stereo field up with this very calming and settling presence, which I quite enjoyed, actually. The low end is covered very well by this punchy and slightly distorted bass, and I even love the retro string timbre that was used around the start of the track. It reminded me a lot of... I, the song is in no way similar to this song, which I'm going to say it reminds me of, but in, in Changes by Black Sabbath, there is like a slight ringing strings in the background, and it's exactly like that. They use almost an identical like, strings, tone, recording, mixing, whatever you want to call it, and it sounded great. It, it brought some nostalgia, so I personally enjoyed that aspect. So a decent production cycle, in my opinion. When it comes to the musicality of the track, I liked how they tried to stretch the song out and really flesh out every possible idea that the instrumentals had raised, and it was very professional performance as well I can't really fault them on that the vocal performance is raw and passionate and every single lyric feels like it carries personal meaning and emotion he always sounds like enthused and happy to be there as in that he really enjoys singing which is a lot more than can be said than a lot of artists around at the moment uh, I like the acoustic finger picking progression and I like the harmonic strings that sat back and droned in the uh, background as I've already mentioned I like the vocal melody and I thought the song in general flowed remarkably well despite the huge dynamic changes which happened three times during this runtime, I can't get over that. I did like the punchy bass as well, but I felt it was kind of wasted by not really being elaborated on. I felt that if this track was around sort of like a minute or a minute and a half shorter, it would have been an incredibly impactful and dazzling track. But I felt the final section just dragged on a little bit, not really showcasing much outside of what we'd already seen and not really showcasing any decoration or wonder or anything like that. I just got the feeling every now and then that it's just I just wanted a little bit more from the group during this section, this final section that is. Lyrically, as I've already mentioned, the song is personal, well performed, dramatised well, and there has clearly been a great deal of thought given towards the meaning and the tone of this track. It felt weighted and containing a lot of substance, which is exactly what I wanted to hear from this type of track, so again, props to them. All in all, a solid track and yet another instance of this group really pushing their boundaries from an early mark in their career. Although there are a fair few uh, improvements, which I'd personally make myself, I can see fans really liking this track, and I can totally see why people might agree agree with the choices that they did make on said track which perhaps I didn't agree with so I gave it a G rating of 6.5 out of 10 which again is well above average if you like this video then please leave a like subscribe to see more and I'll see you around next time bye bye